Hello, um, welcome. Don't mind how I look or how I sound. Um, I'm sick or I'm getting over a sickness, but I got my box to charm. So I thought we'd uh, try something new. Well, it's not really new. It's actually already been done, but I'm gonna do it. So it's new to me. Uh, I'm going to do a try on style like Kathleen lights because she's queen okay she's queen um, anyways I've already kind of looked in here to see kind of what's going on what I'm gonna need to do so okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go do my base and I'll be right back all right so this is what we have working with right now I did not do brows because there is actually a brow product in here from Trey Steak don't come for me in brow pencil and brow gel in Americano that looks uh, too dark for me however we're gonna give it a try and this product goes for $26 so let's see oh geez why is it always so thick oh it you open it up and then it's like uh, that and then don't mind me i totally just broke this you just twist the cap off i'm just okay, stupid so oh, yeah no. and then this pops out with the brow gel on the other side okay this is ingenious if i can make it work color wise yeah okay so let's go ahead and uh brush my brows into place i need a mirror What's this okay so we're just gonna brush our brows into place not using anything else on them because I want to give this a fair shot. Okay, so we're gonna twist. I'm not a big fan of the brow the brow pencils that go into like the triangle like this, but we'll give it a shot. So we're gonna take it with the point down. And go very light handed. It's creamy. You know, the color is actually not bad for me. I don't mind a darker brow. Okay. Let's fill in underneath a little. And we'll take that sharper end right here, the little flicks up, oh my gosh, why do I love this? Okay, first and foremost, we're going to take the spoolie and just kind of mix everything together again first. Wow, this is, okay, let's take the brow gel part and set it, oh, and it's like the, um, uh, the benefit snows like whatever I like the brush I don't know I, my brain's not working I'm still sick so let's start from the end the middle work our way out first and then the front wow you guys Look at that. I know I need to get my brows done, but whatever. But look at the difference. What? Okay, I'm gonna go do this brow real fast. Okay, so um, I really like this on first impression base. My eyebrows are a mess, so we're not gonna use that as judgment for this product. However, it's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so next we have the eyes, and that's gonna use the next two products in here, which is this set of brushes from Lavish. And this is the Essential Eye Collection, and it goes for $30. Um, these remind me of the Subway <laughs> colors. <laughs> and then we have Cab Cosmetics, which is eyeshadow. Ooh. 
and this retails for $52, really? And it is the day and night eyeshadow palette. So we're gonna use these two on the eyes today. Um, I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy because it's literally already almost six o'clock at night when I'm filming this and I gotta do dinner and then bedtime and bath time and all that stuff with my kids. So we're gonna take, okay, so there's no numbers on here, but this is like the thinner tapered brush and I'm going to take the color Naked. Naked. <laughs> That literally like is the same skin tone as me. So that's a good base. Okay. Okay, next I am going to take Georgia Peach with that same brush. And we're gonna kind of go over that same color the naked color just because obviously it didn't really show up wow this is really good for like carving out my uh crease right now just making it defined a little bit more Ooh. Okay, love that brush. So I think next we are gonna take this fluffy angled brush and maybe we'll go in with Halo because it kind of matches my shirt, right? Just to add a pop of color and we're gonna go on the uh, lash line. Just on this outer and maybe pull it out a little bit into a very smoky-ish wing and then add it into the crease. Like so. Ooh! Go back in with that same brush with no additional product. We're just gonna blend. Because we want everything to look nice and seamless and blended. We're gonna take this like flatter brush. And I think we're gonna go with the color Golden Hour and use this on the lid. Ooh, it's pretty. Should we also use some of these purple colors? I'm thinking yes. We'll go back in and darken up that purple right there, but just wanted to get the base down. These eyeshadows are actually really nice. Okay. Um, we're actually gonna take the angled brush that came with them and go back in with that purple color halo and get a closer wing. have a little bit of fallout. Not much though. How's that looking? Let's get rid of some of this fallout. I think I'm gonna take some of this twinkle twinkle with just my finger. Oh my god, they're so buttery. And stick it right here in the middle just to add a little bit more purple and dimension to the eyeball, because we're looking a little plain, which isn't bad, it's just, we're not trying out much colors in the palette today. Okay, what do we think? All right, we're gonna go back in with that first brush, the fluffy tapered, and just blend the crease. Oh, 
All right, let's do the bottom lashes. So I'm gonna take this pencil brush and we're gonna go in with Halo and line the outer corner of the bottom lash line, like so. Okay, and then we are going to take the tapered brush and we're gonna mix Georgia Peach and Naked together and blend it out the bottom lash line. Okay, and then I don't really see any colors that we can use as like a highlight. So we are going to skip that for now because as you can tell, I haven't put on any highlighter brush or blush because I wanted to um, wait to see what we did on the eyes. So. All right, I'm going to use the um, Lancome Lash Idol on my lashes and I'll be right back. Boom. Not crazy lashes today, but like I said, it's not a crazy makeup look. Just in the box is the um, Tarte the Shape Tape Glow Wand in a light, and that goes for $27. So we're gonna open this. Open, open. I swear to God, I'm so weird. And um, we're going to use it as a highlight. Uh, rot, 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 rot. And it comes with a little thing on it. Uh, oh my God, it's so cute. A little sponge, Jesus. I think it took off some of my foundation. Uh -oh. Is Brittany here right now? So you guys are starting dinner? I'm almost done. I'll be out there in a minute. We are gonna put it everywhere. It's not like crazy glowy, but I enjoy, like it attracts light, you know, which I, I'm totally fine with that. I don't really like this sponge thing on it though. Um, unless I'm going like super gently, which I mean, I guess you should be. I feel like it's like hitting my face. So just personal pre preference. I don't really like it too much, but we're gonna use it cause it's, it's new. could probably use this in my inner corners and my brow bone highlight but we'll wait to see what highlight I actually use too. Oh, I have to look really dewy with it on. Okay so that's awesome. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face and we will be right back for the lips. Okay, um, so I used the Jaclyn Cosmetics quad palette to highlight and uh, I'm pretty happy with my base. So now we're going to do the lips and obviously we already saw the hydrating hybrid was a like nude color. So I'm going to line my lips with a pencil and then we'll go in with this. So Let's see what I have that's closest, probably my Patrick Ta. So let's go ahead and line. I can't, I can't see that far away. <laughs> my mirror is too far. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with this color, which was more of like a nude hydrating balm, which I'm all for, baby, give it. And it's nude. I love nudes. I mean, what girl doesn't, honestly? It matches. Okay, so what I'm gonna do 
is go back in with that coat that um, pencil and just kind of blend I think it's pretty good but just I can see the little bit of lines and okay let's go ahead and do some setting spray i'm just going to use the urban decay all nighter okay so this is the look from from may's Eye charm let's go ahead and tally up okay so we had 27 52 30 26 and 15 okay and that is $150 value and I think it was it's like 27 for the base box so that's amazing um anyways I hope you guys enjoyed my my boxy charm try on style and i will see you guys in my next video